All right, so today we're going to talk about greatest common factor. In order to find the greatest common factor, we're going to use our, our prime factorization in order to help us with that. So the first problem is asking you to find the greatest common factor of 35 and 21. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the prime factorization of both of those numbers. So I'm going to do the prime factorization of 35 first. 35 can be factored into 5 times 7. Alright, 5 is the prime number because its only factors are 1 and 5. 7 is also a prime number because its only factors are 1 and 7. So I've completed my factor tree for 35. Now let's do one for the other number which was 21. 21 can be factored into 3 times 7. We already talked about 7 being prime a second ago. 3 is also a prime number because its only factors are 1 and 3. Again we've completed both factor trees. So step one is to make your factor tree for each number. Once you've done that you're going to list out the prime factorization or the prime factors rather of both of the numbers. So the prime factors of 35 we found to be 5 times 7 and the prime factors of 21 we found to be 3 times 7. Once you've listed them out you want to look for common factors in each list. Both lists we see have a 7 and that's it. So we say the greatest common factor or GCF of 35 and 21 is just 7. That's our final answer. Let's try another one. We're going to do number 3 next. This one is asking us to find the greatest common factor between 82 and 20. Step 1, do the factor tree for both numbers. So the factor tree for 82, so I'm going to think something times something is 82. Since 82 is an even number, I know I can do 2 times something to get 82. If you're not certain 2 times what is 82, then you can come over on a scrap sheet or in the margin and divide 82 by 2 to figure that out. We know or we can find that 82 divided by 2 is going to give us an answer of 41. Now 2 is a prime number because its only factors are 1 and 2. 41 is actually also a prime number. Its only factors are going to be 1 and 41. So I've completed the factor tree for 82. The other number was 20, so I'm going to make a factor tree for that. I can break that down into 4 times 5. I could also break it down into 2 times 10. Either pair is fine. We'll still get the same final answer, but I'll go with 4 times 5. 4 is not prime because it can be factored into 2 times 2. 2 is, prime, is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. So I've completed my factor tree for both 82 and 20. Now you want to come and let's list out the prime factors of both of those numbers. When we list out the prime factors, let's make sure it'll be easier if we list them out in ascending order. For example, that means smallest number first. The prime factors of 82 are just 2 and 41. So I'm going to write it down as 2 times 41. The prime factors of 20 are 2, 2, and 5. So that is already in ascending order. Now we just want to see what factors are in both lists. I see that both lists have a 2 and that's it. So the greatest common factor abbreviated GCF of 82 and 20 is just 2. That's your final answer. Let's try number 5. You're asked to find the GCF of 95 and 57. So again, start off with your factor tree. Now 95 is not prime. I see it ends in 5, so I know it is divisible by 5. Again, if you're unsure how many times 5 goes into 95, or 5 times what number is 95, you can come into the margin or on a scrap sheet and divide 95 by 5. We're going to find that to be 19. We already talked earlier that 5 is a prime number. 19 is actually also a prime number because its only factors are 1 and 19. The other number that we were working with was 57. Now 57 is actually not prime. If you add up the digits, the digits are 5 and 7, if you add them up you get a sum of 12. We know that 12 is divisible by 3, so that means 57 is also divisible by 3. So 3 times something is 57. 
Again, if you don't know three times what is 57, if you don't know that off the top of your head, come into the margin or on a scrap sheet and divide 57 by three. You'll find in this case that it's three times 19. We already know that three is prime and we just talked about 19 being prime. So I've made a factor tree for both of my numbers. Now I list out the prime factors of both numbers. So the prime factors of 95 are just five times 19. The prime factors of 57 are just three times 19. Last step, you wanna circle the factors that are found in both lists. Clearly both lists have a 19 and that's it. So we say the greatest common factor or GCF of 95 and 57 is just 19. Let's try another one. I'm gonna skip ahead to number 11. Number 11, you're asked to find the greatest common factor between 55 and 20. Again, they all start off the same. You're gonna make a factor tree for both numbers. This is why it's important to know prime factorization. 55 is not a prime number because it can be broken down into five times 11. We already discussed that five is a prime number. 11 actually is also a prime number. It's only factors are one and 11. And then we'll do the factor tree for 20, which we actually just did that a few minutes ago. So you could just copy that factor tree down from the other side, okay? We're gonna list out the factors of 55, the prime factors, and that would be five times 11. List out the prime factors of 20, so that'd be two times two times five. You wanna circle the factors that are in common in both lists. Here you see both lists have a five and that's it. So the greatest common factor between 55 and 20 is just five, okay? Again, we are skipping around a little bit. I'm gonna to skip to number two. We are asked to find the greatest common factor between 90 and 45. Again, factor tree needs to be created for 90. Uh, I know that nine times 10 is equal to 90. I also could have done two times 45. That would work as well. Nine is not prime because it can be factored down into three times three. We do know that three, however, is prime. So that branch is complete. 10 is not prime because it can be factored down into two times five. We know that two is prime and so is five. So we've completed our factor tree for 90. Now we're gonna make our factor tree for 45. We could factor this into nine times five. Again, we just factored nine. We know that breaks down into three times three. Three is prime. That five is also prime. So now we'll list out the factors, the prime factors of 90, and let's go in ascending order, meaning smallest to largest. So I'm gonna list that as two times three times three times five. And the prime factors of 45 in ascending order would be three times three times five. Okay, circle the factors that are in both lists. Now here we see multiples. Both lists have a five. They have a pair of threes there. And here's another pair of threes that also match up. So this one's slightly different. When we find the greatest common factor here, the greatest common factor would be three, this three, times this three times this five. Three times three times five. Or 45, the GCF here would be 45. That one was a little bit different. <coughs> All right, uh, let's skip to number 14. You had to find the greatest common factor between four and 17. Four is not a prime number. So, and it breaks down into two times two. However, two is prime, so we're done. The other number was 17. The only factors of 17 are one and 17. 17 is actually simply just prime. So this one's a little bit tricky. List out the factors of four, the prime factors, it would just be two times two. If the other number is prime, such as this one where it's 17. If you end up with one that's prime, then you simply, the only pair of factors for 17 would be one times 17, that's it. 
Now, you might say that there are no factors in common. That's actually not really true because we also know 1 is a factor of not just 17, but a factor of all numbers. So technically, the uh, 4 is equal to 2 times 2 times 1. So really, this one was a little bit tricky. We would say the greatest common factor of 4 and 17 is actually 1. You will never, ever say that the greatest common factor or is 0 or that there isn't a greatest common factor. In reality, if you, don't, if you can't find a GCF, the GCF would be 1. Worst case scenario.